Hi, we are John and Samantha. Welcome to our channel, Vintage RV Adventures. We bought our motorhome in July 2021, and with the help of a Rob the Builder, we have spent that time rebuilding the motorhome from what was a salvage wreck. This year, we're gonna complete our motorhome project, and we will soon be on our way visiting some lovely parts of the UK, when we'll also take Shelby, our German Shepherd dog, along for the ride. So please do follow our journey. We look forward to having you along. Hi guys, uh, not a very long video this week. Uh, I've been away doing some other things and Rob's been doing a little fencing job for a nearby neighbor. So uh, sorry about that, but I uh, hope you enjoy what we've done anyway. Okay guys, I've just marked up around the socket that's going to go um, above the kitchen and just before I do a wet cut on it, um, I'm just going to score this line here, make sure we've got a nice straight line. Um, you can see there, you don't need to apply too much pressure, you can hear it, hopefully you can hear it. Then stop at the end and that's that done, okay. I'll take it outside now and I'll show you how to wet cut it as well. Okay guys, this machine is quite loud and hopefully John can filter the noise out, but I'm just going to show you what a wet cut does. There, guys, you take your nibblers and you oh, nibble away that the piece is going to come off. He said, confidently, like so. As long as you've made that score on it, it won't break anywhere else apart from where the score line is. There you go, guys, that's uh, the cut around the socket inside. Okay guys, obviously we now cut it, uh, what we do is offer it in situation, uh, in situ, sorry, and then you can see when the adhesive's on there, you've got yourself a nice lovely cut around the socket itself, and that squeezes back on there. So that's how you cut around the sockets guys, hopefully that helps out. Um, the other problem I've got, I've made another mistake that's been pointed out to me, and that's this plate here. I'll put it on upside down. So I need to take it off, if you can see it's upside down, um, hang on, I don't know if I've got no easy. Um, mistake rectified, <laughs> pointed out to me by Sammy. Okay guys, um, just a bit more of a tip for you, when you're coming around to sockets and wall lights and plates and everything else, make sure you take them off the wall and you place your tiles behind because you cannot cut a perfect joint all the way around there. Make sure they slip behind and don't interfere with the plates as it goes back on. You get a much more professional finish. And pretty much the same as the windows, we've got uh, the, the luxury of putting a trim around the windows. And uh, what I'll do is just show you, the trim's not been put in yet, but the trim will actually sit on there like so. And you've got yourself a nice professional finish again with the tiles. So always try and put your tile behind the plate that you're actually working to. And um, when you're working on any surface, doesn't matter if you think the surface is straight or not, always use the spacer. These are three more spacers. Always use the spacer at the bottom, just in case you need to make a little bit of fine adjustment as you work along. Never go off the surface, the bottom of the surface. I think the same is to take your shape, isn't it? Um, just a little bit more to do on this corner here, which I've cut some tiles in already and cut some bead in, and that will be finished off today. Morning guys, it's now Saturday morning. Uh, I haven't been here all week. Rob's been uh, cracking on with this, and he's, but he's had another job to do as well. I think we mentioned that in the last video. And, uh, and I've come back this morning to look at this. Wow, look at it. Absolutely stunning. Still got the grouting to do on the kitchen tiles, but what does that look like? Rob, 
fantastic, buddy. It's good, isn't it? It's looks yeah. very good. It's, it's still not completely finished. Um, there's some trim to go, as you can see up there, but it's not been fixed in yet. Um, but it looks absolutely solid. It really it's, does. It's perfect, it, it looks brilliant. It looks like a home kitchen, doesn't it? No, that's absolutely absolutely fine. Once you get a home from home. Let's spin round. We've got this one as well, haven't we? Yeah, let me just drag that off. But... Look at that. It's finished off now as well. Again, still some grouting to do, but look at that. Brilliant. Grouting and silicon as well around the uh, yes. kitchen service tops. Right, so today, guys, we're going to do a little bit of spraying, aren't we, Rob? Yeah. So these covered doors that we've yeah. got are on that yeah. aren't so can, aren't uh, done at the moment. We're yeah. going to get these off now, and um, we've got some paint arrived. This uh, Grampian Grey. So uh, uh, let's get on with that then. Okay. Right, as we're as we're an honest channel, guys, we'll tell you what we've uh, got going on this morning. We have a bit of a problem. So previously, when we were spray painting these uh, MDF boards, no problem at all. Paint was going on beautifully. Uh, on top of the PVA sealant that we, we'd put on previously. Yeah, yeah. Today, the PVA seems to have reacted to the paint, which it didn't before. I think we can only put it down to the weather, can't we? It is. It's, it's throwing it down and it's cold as well. So I don't think the PVA is going off as quick as what it was. But saying that, the PVA has gone on there. But... I honestly think it's something to do with the weather, unless somebody can come up with an idea of what we've done. But um, and put it in the comments below, we'd be very grateful. So at the moment, we're sort of rubbing back the PVA and putting some thinners on, aren't we, to try yeah, and get it off? Yeah, trying to take it off. At yeah. The moment. Um, well, we'll see we'll how we there. go. We'll get there. It's yep. just, uh, but the one, the ones, the ones we've just done, haven't we? That we just yeah, rub, just, rub uh, back and and put thinners on. They've come out fine, yeah, haven't they? Yeah, They've come out absolutely. beautiful. Yeah, yeah. But the first two that we did, that we didn't. Major, major yeah, that absolutely crap. Yeah. yeah, gotta be done again. Well, I ran out of thinners. <laughs> so I had to just nip up the local factors and go and get five litres. I don't know if you can see it on this camera, guys, but uh, yeah, these are the two first, the, the, the first two boards that we did. And you can see there, the paint has reacted really badly. Really badly. Another patch there, look. There's something reacting. We can only presume it's this uh, PVA. But we didn't rub these two down. Okay, let's crack on. So what we've done guys is uh, rub some thinners over, over the board, get most of the glue off and now Rob's just going over with a hot air gun just to make sure it's all dried off and we're also just to uh, just raise the temperature of the board a little bit for, for painting. We've just done one haven't we Rob and that turned out like a sheet of glass, it was beautiful. It's a learning curve for all of us so uh, let's hope this one works as well. We are ready to go, John. Nice
that is gorgeous. That's like glass, Rob. It is, it's absolutely perfect. And it's only a door. Yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> that but is gorgeous. Door, John. That is absolutely gorgeous. I think, uh, Look at that. Yeah. Right, now the challenge is we've got to get that in the kitchen onto the cooker out the way. So there's no it. dust gets on it and no marks, yeah. Before anybody says leave it where it is, we can't because we've got to put the Ranger over it. Yeah. Right, let's get it inside. Right, okay. Well, there we go, guys. How about that? They're, uh, they're coming out ra rather nice. Rather nice paint jobs. Look like glass, don't they, Rob? Yeah, they look up. They turn out absolutely superb. And this is the toilet, toilet door. door. So this is the front. We haven't painted the back yet. This is the front. Let's just see if we can see if you can. It's hard to appreciate how shiny it is, isn't it? You can't really see it on the how camera. How smooth it is as well. Well, you can see the well, reflection you, of the you say, tiles. Yeah, you can see yeah. the reflection from there to there. Um, yeah, it is like glass. Yeah. Absolutely beautiful. In fact, there we go. You can see it there, actually. Absolutely beautiful. And, uh, and we've got some more drying off over this side of the kitchen. Commandeered Samantha's <laughs> kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> As you do. Okay, guys, um, that comes to the end of another week. Unfortunately, it's only a shorter video this week because we've both been out working, doing other jobs. Um, must needs. Um, but I think you'll agree that the um, the doors look absolutely superb. The tiling in the uh, RV looks good as well. Uh, there's a couple of useful tips in there as well, guys. So hopefully that's going to help you along. Um, please keep supporting us um, and subscribe to us as well, guys, because we've got some more content coming as well. So uh, thank you very much for your support and uh, we'll speak to you soon. Take care, Take care guys. Bye-bye.